Hi, I'm Eleftheria Batsu. Welcome to the video course Hands-on Data Visualization with D3GS by Pact Publishing. Eleftheria is a passionate front-end developer and UI designer. Her first studies were in the field of informatics and telecommunications of engineering and later in graphical arts and multimedia. She likes to teach and share. She's self-motivated and working hard to make this world a little bit better every day. When she is unglued to a computer screen, she spends time working out and strolling in the nature. This course is a step-by-step -step tutorial which focuses not only to practical examples, but in acquiring in-depth knowledge about data visualization and best coding practices. This is the way to become a pro D3GS developer and create stunning animated charts while manipulating big amount of data and representing them in a user-friendly manner. Now what are we going to learn in this course? The first section starts with an overview of what you can expect to learn by the end of it. We will talk about the basic concepts of data visualization and more specifically about D3GS. We will continue by setting up a local server and running our first files. We will also discuss what you should think and what kind of data you should have in order to pick the correct type of visualization and then start coding towards your concept. Now in the second section, we will start learning about visualization in the web by using D3GS core concepts like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and we will find out everything about selectors, selections, and scales. In the third section, we are not only going to code a bar graph, but we are also adding some animation. In order to do that, we have to dig a little deeper into scales, events, and transitions. In the fourth section, we will code a skater plot and learn even more about multiplot transitions and animations. We will find out where and why you should be updating the axis using a variety of events and creating a clip path. In the fifth section, you will learn how to add and visualize relationships between data. We will code a force layout, which is mostly used for technical data, and at the same time we will explore nodes and links. Now in the sixth section, we are making a tour through the different types of geographical charts before we delve into making our own chloroplast map using GeoJSON and projections. Last but not least, in the final section, we will add interactivity to the map by moving it and making it zoomable. We will make the map user-friendly as we attract more potential users. As for the prerequisites, you are only going to need a personal computer, some internet connection, and I am going to be using the Google Chrome browser, and then you are going to need some basic programming experience like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It would be nice to have some D3GS experience, but if you don't have, then that's not necessary. A lot of times we are going to use the d3gs.org official website.